Welcome back to Ten Slide Info. Even though GTRE is eagerly waiting to join one of the foreign vendors to jointly manufacture the engine for AMC a program, one of the other vital task for them is to get the dry cavity engine tested and evaluated. As per one of the videos uploaded in Ten Slide Info, GTRE and HAL might be joining hands with Saffron of France to jointly develop the engine for the AMC a program. In the meantime, GTRE has plans to finish the development of the dry cavity engine and send the same to Russia for further evaluation. As per the different sources, it seems that the dry cavity engine specimen would be soon sent to Russia by mid this year to commence a series of tests that are planned on a Russian IL-76 aircraft using it as a flight test bed. The main intention behind sending the cavity engine to Russia is due to the lack of test facilities in India. It is said that at a Russian facility, the dry cavity engine will replace one of the four engines of Illusion IL-76 to be tested with an altitude of 12,000 meters and at a maximum forward speed of 0.7 Mach. As mentioned above, India does not have a fully functional wind tunnel facility that is used to study aerodynamic characteristics. There is no facility for stimulation of an engine that will work at 40,000 to 50,000 feet above the ground level. While the dry cavity engine will be used to power the upcoming unmanned remote strike aircraft program, the cavity engine with the afterburner section will eventually be tested on the older LSP LC Tejas aircraft as a technology demonstrator program and as a proof of concept by 2026 or 2027 tentatively. So let's expect we get more clarity and confirmation from GTRE's side about the complete evaluation of dry cavity engine and it can be used on the India's unmanned stealth bomber. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslayer Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.